Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how we can generate the executable board file from the Spring Boot application and how we can deploy that executable board file to the external Tomcat server. So to explain this, I have created one dummy application called Spring Demo and inside this I'm having one controller and inside the controller I'm having one sim simple message called hello which is returning the string and I have used the get mapping and get is the path. Okay. So uh, we know by default Spring Boot provides three embedded servers. The number one is Tomcat, number two is Undertow and the number three is Jetty. So in this video, our main motto is to deploy the war file to the external Tomcat server, right? So we have to exclude the Tomcat which Spring Boot Starter Web dependency provide, right? So we will just change the scope of the Tomcat to the provided. So here I will show you how we can change the scope to the provided. So this is our Tomcat dependency. We will just change the scope to the provided. Okay. So this is how we can do it. So this was a step number one. So we know by default Spring Boot generates the jar file, right? So, but we need the var file here, correct? So for that we will need, uh, we will use one tag called packaging and here we will give the var. So this is the step number two, which we have to do. Oh, it's, it rhymed. So now we will move to the step number three. So this is our main class. Our main class should extend one class and uh, that class is called Spring Boot Servlet Initializer. If we read about this class, it says an opinionated web application initializer to run a Spring application from a traditional bar deployment. If we need the traditional bar deployment, we have to extend this class. So inside this class, we have one method called configure. So we have to override that method. So this is the method called configure and we have to override it. So this method will return builder.sources and inside this we have to give the name of our main class. So this is our main class name and we have to use the dot class. So this was the step number three, which was the last step. So now we will just generate the var file. How we can generate a var file is we have to go to this run as uh, maven build here in the goals. We have to provide the clean package. Just click on apply or enter. So here in the console, you could see some logs are coming up. That means they are generating the var file. And here we could see the spring logo as well. And uh, now our application is built success. That means our application is, that means the var file is generated. So we will just refresh our application. Here we could see one target folder. Inside this, we could see one var file is there, right? So we will just copy this var file because we have to deploy this executable war file to the external Tomcat server, right? So I have already downloaded the external Tomcat server. Here it is. So inside this web apps, I will just place my var file. And now I will go to this bin folder and there is one startup.batch file is there. We will just click on this. It will start our server. Okay. And our server will run on port number 8080, which is the default port. And here we could see the uh, spring logo as well. And that's it. Our uh, var file is deployed. Now we will go to the folder again. Here in the web apps folder, you could see a new folder called spring demo is being created, right? So inside this folder, if we go, we would see three folders are there. That means our var file is successfully deployed. So now we will try to hit our endpoint. We will see has it really deployed our executable war file to the external Tomcat server or not. So for that, I will just copy this name. I'll tell you what exactly, why exactly do we need this name? So now I will open my Chrome browser and here we have to run on local uh, local host 8080, the default port. Here in the path, we have to give the name of the folder, whatever I have copied. Okay. And after this, we have to give the get, which was the path. So now just click on enter and here you would see it is returning as the hello. In the code, if we could go and see the controller class, uh, inside this controller class, we were just returning the string, which was hello. So this is how we can generate a var file, executable var file from the Spring Boot application and we can deploy it to the 
external Tomcat or instead of Tomcat, I mean the uh, web server, you can use any application server as well, like the JBoss or any other. So in this video, this much only. If you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.